Hello, sports fan. This is Stephen Hill for Sports Choice Plus. I'm bringing you a very special breakdown. I'm going to be covering the Cincinnati Bengals taking on the Washington football team. Before I get right into that, I want to make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the updates each and every time we have breakdowns here at Sports Choice Plus. Without further ado, let's get right into it. You're looking at the Bengals coming off of a loss against the Pittsburgh Steelers. This team is young. It's going to take its hits. It's going to take its lumps on the head, and they're going to still continuously grow. You look at the Bengals organization as a whole. They're putting pieces around Joe Burrow, and they're doing the best that they can, and they're learning on the fly at the same time. You look at Washington and just where they are. Washington did not really have a good showing against Detroit. And you're starting to see, you know, they can run the football in Washington, but the quarterback play from Alex Smith is not the same as it would be from um, somebody that you want moving in the future. And you're looking just how this team is slowly – uh, not really showing a lot of development in Washington. They're not really showing you a lot of growth. Um, I don't know if it's just the coaching. I don't know if a lot of those players are not going to be there next year, but you can tell by the way that they're playing football games. They're starting out lackluster. They're starting out uh, sluggish. They're not really coming out and hitting with a lot of firepower. So when I'm looking at this football game, I think the Cincinnati Bengals are going to have a big foot up on Washington. What I mean by that is a lot of the players on the Bengals will be there next year. They have confidence in not only Joe Burrow, but the play calling is starting to look a lot better. You can't really gauge what they did against the Steelers last week because you got to think that is the Steelers, of course. Their defense is ranked pretty good, and they held the rookie in check for most of the football game. I think you're going to get Mixon back this week for the Bengals. That's going to bode well for the running game. And I think that they're going to take full advantage of the Washington team just not being that good overall. The defense for Washington will get a couple of sacks probably on Joe Burrow. They will probably have a good couple of sequences on defense. But it's not going to be enough to stop Joe Burrow and company from scoring early and often. I think that you have a couple of weapons from the wide receiver position that could really go off in Cincinnati. I think that you're starting to see the wide receivers in Joe Burrow slowly start to build that relationship to where he can trust them. He can go to them early. He can go to them often. He can go to them in double teams. And you're starting to see the maturation process of a pretty good young quarterback in Joe Burrow. So I'm picking the Cincinnati Bengals to win this football game. I'm very confident in them, and I'm confident in their growth moving forward. I think that you're starting to see strides of him understanding how the NFL works, Joe Burrow, that is, and understanding how to look off defenses in the NFL, understanding how to call different audibles and play that chess match against that linebacker at the line of scrimmage. But, you know, seeing him lose football games and seeing his character in the loss really makes me see him as like, okay, yeah, he's really getting it. He's really understanding. He's taking the loss and he's saying, look, it's my fault. It's 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 me. I've got to do better as a quarterback to lead this team. And that's speaking volumes. Your guys are going to run through a wall for you. Your offensive linemen, your running backs, your wide receivers, they're going to do everything for you because you're being an ultimate constant professional and the ultimate quarterback at that point. So I'm picking the Bengals to win this one. Are you Washington fans? Are you Bengals fans? Get in the comment section. Tell me what you think the prediction is going to be. Do you agree? Disagree? Leave all that in the comment section. And until next week, good people, check out the other sports games we have for next week. And we look forward to seeing you soon.